I see a lot of single women who struggle to find an amazing man because they're focusing on the wrong stuff without even knowing it. But what if there's a few simple yet highly underrated boxes you can check in a guy that can predict much more accurately how fulfilling your relationship can be? And what if you can find him much sooner by making a small shift and focusing on the right stuff? Today, I'm gonna be sharing six areas of focus that can make it easier and faster for you to find your ideal guy. One of the biggest mistakes I see incredibly smart, high achieving, beautiful women make that prevent them from attracting incredible men into their lives is that they over prioritize without even knowing it, high intensity and chemistry from the get go. And Here's what I have to say. It's not your fault. From the moment you were born till now, you've been fed a mirage of lies from novels to movies to books to Romeo and Juliet types of plays that feed you into the myth that when you find your ideal guy, you will just know your heart will open and the angels will sing and you'll have this feeling of multiple lifetimes all at once and you will just know that he is the one. And what I'm here to say is that if you are secretly hoping for that to happen, and if you're saying no to men because you don't find that feeling because you went on a date and you didn't, your heart didn't burst open with explosions, that you're leaving so much on the table. Now, I'm also here to say that this, even though I'm sharing the one for purposes of focus and simplicity, I don't believe there's just one, the one. And the analogy I'll give you is I hear even incredibly smart scientists talk about the concept of, could it be that we're the only life force in this universe? And I'm thinking to myself, there is at least one trillion galaxies and each galaxy has billions of solar systems. And you're saying that we might be the only life force in the universe? I call that bullshit. At the same time, think about this. There's approximately four billion men Billion with a B on this planet. So to think that there could only be just one is high lucracy. But at the same time, I know it's a feeling that many people have. I can only find one person and it's an incredibly limiting belief. So if you know that there are multiple human beings who could be highly compatible with you, you will live in more abundance and you'll also be able to give guys a true chance. The first checkbox that I want you to focus on more than other ones right now is that the guy that you're connecting with is available. And he has a vision similar to yours. Now you might say, Burr, couldn't you get more obvious? Nah, I don't think so. I connect with so many women who are in this mega drama with someone who, when you really sit down and analyze the situation, the guy is not available. He's not available emotionally or he's not available logistically. He seems to want a relationship, but he's working 70, 80 hours a week, which means there's zero time for a relationship. Let's just be clear. Because if you're one of those women who are working 80 hours a week and you want to find an amazing relationship, I'm going to say to you right now, you need to scale that a little bit, maybe a lot to be able to have something that's long lasting, where you can put energy and focus and present your best self versus your tired, burnt out self. Now, similar vision to you means that the person needs to want the same type of relationship you're looking for. If you want marriage, that person wants marriage. If you want children, the person wants children. If you connect with someone who has a vastly different vision for a relationship is, you want monogamy, this person's into polyamory. Well, it's never going to work. So that's the first checkbox that even though it sounds obvious, many human beings, especially when high intensity and chemistry is taking place, they sweep it under the rug and they forget about it. The second box that you need to check is you need to understand and know how you feel in the presence of this person and when you're not with this person. And here are three categories of feeling that I need you to start thinking about. I need you to feel accepted. I need you to feel seen and I need you to feel uplifted. So if you're saying I connect with this guy and he's so exciting, so mysterious, things are just magical, but you don't feel seen, you don't feel accepted and you don't feel uplifted. You actually feel the opposite of that. You feel insecure about yourself. You feel like there's no clarity in terms of how often the guy wants to see you, when he wants to see you next. He's just kind of playing this game psychologically, not consciously, where you're on this cliffhanger all the time. There's high ups and high downs. There's a drama taking place and it feels kind of exciting, 
but it's not truly giving you that sense of he sees me and I feel uplifted and safe in the presence of him, then he is not your guy. Number three is he's proud once he knows you to share you with his world. I say underlining here once he knows you, because if you connect with a guy who's super intense and wants to show you off to everyone and doesn't even know who you are, then that does not mean as much as a guy who knows you, understands you, feels who you are, and then chooses to generously share you with his world. That means his friends. That means his family. If he is a father, eventually, and I say eventually because you really need to be careful about this, maybe six months into it with his children, not three years into it, but not one month into it, but six months into the relationship, he introduces to his children. If he's a guy who's willing to generously share with his world when he knows you, he is worth his weight in gold. Now, before I go into my last three steps, which are really important for you to know, if you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet you're not fully aware of the true reason you're still single. So what I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping women of all walks of life, every kind of love challenge you can imagine, to help them to attract their ideal life partners and put this together in a very simple quiz. You can take it about 60 seconds that will share with you the number one reason you're still single. So if you want to participate, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description. You will see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions and within 60 seconds, you'll have two things. Number one, the answer to the question, why you're still single. And number two, a report. It's going to share with you based on your specific blind spots, what's the number one thing you can do starting today to reverse this trend and attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. Checkbox number four, not how tall he is, not how strong he is, not how seductive he is, but you can lean on him and he can lean on you. Something super simple, but missing in many of the guys you've been chasing energetically. What does that mean? That means that when you call this guy, he is there for you. When you need him, he's not one of those guys who's so busy that he can't take a call, even if it's late at night. He'll pick up and say, what do you need? He may not be excited to hear that call, but he'll show up for you. And he's vulnerable enough and he's strong enough to when he needs help, he reaches out for help. He says, can you help me with this? Can you be here for me? Can I share this idea with you? Why? Because at the end of the day, what do you need to create with a man who's going to be your lifelong partner, your forever after, your champion, your cheerleader, your true lover is a really good friend. A really good friend. Yeah, of course, there's, there needs to be a feeling of chemistry. But overall, if you don't have a friendship taking place, it's not going to last or it's going to be something very superficial that you'll feel lacking in depth and meaning after the honeymoon period, which doesn't take that long, will wear, wear off. Checkbox number five. He's hungry to get to know you. Why is this important? Because sometimes you connect with someone who is funny, is fun, makes you laugh. Again, going more for the superficial stuff, but isn't really hungry to get to know you. Isn't willing to have deep conversations with you. Isn't excited to, once he kind of figures you out, he stops. If a guy is willing to continue to ask you questions, to understand that you're a changing human being, that you'll be a different version of you in one year and in three years and 10 years, and he's constantly wanting to figure out your inner world, that's a man that is worth experiencing. That's a man that's worth spending time with. That might be a guy that's worth investing the rest of your life with. The last one is he's open to working on himself. He may not necessarily be the first one to say, this is something that's going on in me and I'm going to go work on myself. But when you point things out, when you say, here's something that I see as a challenge and he thinks through it, he doesn't just take your word for it, he thinks through it. He's not just defensive. He's willing to say, you know what? I understand that this is something that may need shifting and he's willing to work on himself. He's willing to get help. He's willing to read. He's willing to study. He's willing to watch a video if necessary to make those shifts. So what's my message here? My message to you is give better men a chance. Stop going for that instant connection. Stop going for that checklist that may not be necessary. That might mean the closeness to your house or the height or the same religion. Be willing to vary it up a little bit. Open up your world and give guys who may not feel like the type that you go for, like the most incredible specimen of a man, the first one you connect with him, more time to get to know him because you might find someone that is the exact human being you've been craving your entire life. You've just been going for the flashy object. Hope this is helpful and useful. If it is, it means the world to me and to my channel. If you click like and subscribe, please share this with someone who needs to hear this. 
And if you want to continue learning how you can attract your ideal life partner without any for gimmicks, manipulation games or stupid techniques, make sure to watch the next video right here.